So by now, you've all heard of branch chain amino acids being a key component to recovery. So let's use, again, nutrient timing systems in the book by Portman and Ivy to get a little more insight on that. So excuse me for reading, but I want to give you the real data here. So the first thing you need to know is that training has an effect on the what's called the amino acid or protein pool. As, as he says here, during sustained exercise, a net muscle protein loss occurs. This is mainly because there's an increased use of branch chain amino acids for energy. BCAs are generated by muscle protein breakdown because they serve as a synthesizer or they actually synthesis of glutamine. Muscle glutamine stores will then decline as well. Glutamine, the most abundant amino acid in the entire body and muscles, plays a very important role for fueling the immune system. Dur during prolonged stressful exercise, glutamine stores can be almost completely depleted, potentially compromising the immune system. So when you damage the muscle, that's when you really need the branch chains which can help to bring up the glutamine. Now, let's talk about what causes muscle damage. And again, I'm going to refer to Portman and Ivy's book. Muscle damage is perhaps the most significantly significant physiological effect on resistance training. You can measure now how much damage has taken place by three critical markers. There's something called 3-methylhistidine, creatine phosphokinase, and lactate dehydrogenase you can measure in the urine or blood to look for um, levels of overtraining. Case in point, there are three different ways you can actually cause this stress. You can cause it by damaging the muscle, especially eccentrically. When you do an eccentric component, slow resistance going down, you actually tend to damage the muscle even more. There's also another source of damage, which is hormonal, which really involves cortisol. While you're training, cortisol levels tend to raise. If you're training on an empty stomach, your cortisol levels are really going to go up, and that means you've actually missed the boat. So I highly recommend a pre-workout snack. I love the focus food 60 to 75 minutes before. So quench cortisol post-workout by having your ideal recovery, rich in branch chain amino acids, and glutamine, and essential amino acids, and creatine. And of course, eating through the day using whey protein and other good sources of food will all help to limit this hormonal damage. And the third reason why we actually get muscle damage is free radicals. And again, that's helped with some of your vitamins, your minerals, and quenching cortisol. So branch chains are very, very important post-workout, and it's part of the whole family that GI Nutrition has actually created to maximize performance.